Welcome back to this week's video. So this week is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to start the video off showing you some of um, the amazing drone footage that I got from my second day in Snowdon and it was a amazing experience hiking, staying in a hostel, um, having an adventure on my own and pushing my photography skills. So um, the intro is going to be some photography um, uh, drone stuff and uh, a couple of sort of nature nature captures that I got on the vlogging camera and um, I'm then going to go on to what went wrong with my photography why I was ill prepared and um, how things just didn't quite work out so I did um, take a couple of photos on my second day and um, the first one um, I'm not too sure about I guess it's quite subjective if it's your kind of style and then the second one I just don't like at all I'm not going to release but I'll show you anyway I'm not going to release it as um, something that I'm proud of or that I want to include in my portfolio or on my Instagram so let's get to it I'm going to show you some of the footage uh, from my Snowden trip and this is the second day and this is hiking from Penny Pass which is the bottom of Snowden and there's a, a route that goes all the way up it's called the Miners Track so I'm going to tune to that now Almost at the summit I thought I'd quickly vlog because the peak uh, is just a few meters ahead and I can't wait to finally see the view. Uh, I've not done Snowdon before and I've certainly not done it with a camera bag, uh, with my drone and all my camera kit. So finally there, a big accomplishment. I'm hoping sunset will be worth it. I'm going to take you guys up with me. Let's go. That was my trip and it was beautiful. The view was amazing. I, it probably took me about five, six hours because I stopped along the way and took photos. And um, I didn't really give myself enough time. I woke up, did sunrise for the Lone Tree. I then slept in my car for a little bit just to get some rest. I then hit the trail about midday and um, spent about six hours up until um, sunset doing photography around the area. Um, the trail on the way up is um, absolutely beautiful. There's so many spots to stop which is exactly what I did. So um, the first image I'm gonna show you guys now. Um, I'll show you the image first and then I'll explain a little bit why I feel like this, this image needs work. Um, I'm happy to include it, I might post it, um, but I feel personally it's not my typical style. So I'm gonna put that one on the screen now. here I feel that I need more light uh, on the rocks it's a bit flat I do have light in the um, in the far ground uh, where the mountains are however I feel like the way that I've exposed this isn't quite right the way that I've captured the dappled light 
um, seems to be a bit washed out. I've edited this image three, four times and I still don't feel like I'm quite happy with it. Um, it's very moody, it's very different. It's not a long exposure, which is kind of my comfort blanket. It's something a little bit more kind of sharp, a little bit more moody, a little bit more atmosphere. And I wanted to build on my um, sort of atmospheric work and just shooting in the day with daylight conditions. So let me know in the comments what you think of this image. Um, I feel like it's an improvement on my ability to shoot in the day um, where there's harsh light. However, I feel like I need a lot more work, a lot more practice. If you've got any advice, editing tips for me, that would be fantastic. Um, so that's the first image. Now, the second one, which I feel is... I, I was so happy with this, taking this image in the field. And I'm sure you guys have the same thing where you uh, shoot and you vlog and you're really excited with the uh, footage that you've got and the image you're taking you think this is going to be the one this is going to be amazing and um i've edited it i've taken it into lightroom photoshop and i just can't save it uh, there's nothing i can do so i'm going to show you the footage first as to how i took this image what settings i, I used um and my composition and then I'll show you the image after. So cue the video footage of this unfortunate failed image. Now this one is definitely worth stopping for and talking about. So I've got a river here running down to the lake and mountains in the background. It's just a magical combination. Ugh, what more can you ask for as a photographer? I don't know if this is iconic, well shot, I'm sure it is, but for me I don't have it in my portfolio so I'm going to get my own spin on it. Uh, yeah, the water's not too fast flowing which is great, I can get sort of sat down here quite nicely and I'm going to be mixing between different shots again as I did yesterday. Um, a couple of seconds here and there and some long exposures as well to get that milky water. Uh, I'll t attach the settings because I haven't set up yet um, to the images that I share. So yeah, this one in particular I'm not going to include, I was really, you know, I don't know if you feel the same where you feel disheartened and you leave a trip and the first day was really positive, really productive, I really love my image of the lone tree, it's very my kind of style of photography and I feel like on the second day I wanted to experiment, I wanted to push myself, I wanted to shoot in the day, see what happened but um, the issue I had is um, I ran out of puff. I got to the top of Snowdon, beautiful sunset colours but after hiking up um, for six hours with my drone, with my camera, um, on my own, uh, unsuitable footwear, um, I got to the top and I just felt like I just wanted to enjoy the moment. I just wanted to see the view and enjoy the experience. So I took a couple of snaps at the top, it was very windy um, and they're not images that I'm going to include because uh, that they weren't great, I'll be honest. And they're not even, uh, I feel like the the waterfall with the mountain has some kind of planned composition. Um, but this, the images I took at the top were quick snaps, um, no planning, poor light in terms of my, um, I, I needed to wait to the end of the sunset colours. I was very much in the beginning of sunset. And the reason why I left early is because I had a long trail going down the mountain. Um, and I was on my own um, so the first part of the climb is a scramble I had my heavy bag so I was scrambling backwards with a heavy bag I was quite aware that I was losing light so I had to use the kind of the golden hour the blue hour to see to get down and then the trail from there was three hours in the dark I had a torch I had everything with me but um, this is why I didn't really take my time at the top because I was very mindful of safety you know getting down from the top of the mountain um, and also drone footage, I didn't manage to capture any drone footage, the wind was too high, um, my, co my, camp, my phone battery was about to die and I didn't want to put myself in a position where I couldn't call for emergency services if I fell um, and, and situations like that. So you do have to make a call, uh, drone footage is last, safety is first. So there, my video just it wasn't exactly how I envisaged it. So in this video I wanted to talk to you through my images, what went right, what went wrong, how to push yourself and improve your photography um, but in order to do that you need to make mistakes and I feel like in this this is me learning developing I need to um, look at how to capture light without making it too sort of harsh 
um, capture the atmosphere uh, and also plan my trips a little better so it's better content for you guys and I get better pictures at the top of a mountain where I've got time to really take images. I should have camped over or um, taken the, a longer path back down but that, by that point you're tired and you've lost your, lost your sort of mojo to continue. So uh, that's it for this week's video. I hope you found this useful. Um, I wanted to be a very transparent, I wanted to talk to you guys because I feel like my uh, photography is very much uh, a story and I want you guys to get to know me and what my plan is and how I develop and how I um, sort of envisage my images and if it doesn't always go right I want to talk about that because that's the best way to learn and to improve your photography. Uh, so I, another thing I want to talk to you guys about before we finish up is, um, so I don't know if you noticed in my last video, The Lone Tree, I talked about, um, or I began the video with some creative um, writing. So uh, I'm very much a creative writer, um, a little bit of poetry, things like that. So my plan is to incorporate that into my videos from here onwards. And um, I've got a couple of bits of um, pieces I've been writing. I take my inspiration from the landscape when I'm taking images. Um, and this particular video would have had a creative writing piece at the beginning. And for me, the reason why I'm doing that is because uh, it's what I enjoy doing. And I feel like it adds a um, context to my images, a context to my videos, where I'm at, and the emotions that I go through when I'm in the landscape and I'm trying to capture what I can see and that feeling I have and share it with other people. So I hope you guys enjoy my creative writing introductions or endings from here and I'm looking to do a course and try and better those skills but if you've got any advice or if anyone picks up on a couple of things that don't quite make sense there's poetry in it I'm sure there is or I'm just nicking up as I go along who knows but that's the end of this week's video thank you so much for joining and listening to me rabbit on I hope you found it useful so next week's video, this is a little clue as to where I'm going to be and I'm going to go through some different photography techniques in the forest. It's a big challenge for me, it's not something I really specialise in, so I'm going to take you guys along with me for that journey and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.